bloom filter bloom filter for filtering streams bloom filter bloom filter is a space efficient probabilistic data structure developed by howard bloom purpose of bloom filter bloom filter is used to test whether an element is a member of a set or not for example consider a set s of m key values a bloom filter allow all stream elements whose keys are in s it reject the stream elements whose keys are not in s bloom filter consists of an array of n bits initially all bit values are equal to 0 bloom filter uses a collection of hash functions h1 h2 etc hk hash function of a key value decides the value of bits of bit array positions bloom filter storing initialize the bit array with all bit values equal to 0 take a key value in s and hash it using each of k hash functions set the bit value is equal to 1 in bit array for the position equal to h of a for some hash function hi and some key value a in s for example if hi of a is equal to 3 for some key value a in s then third position of bit array value is equal to 1 these are the steps for storing in bloom filter let us see the bit array example consider a bit array of 9 positions initially bloom filter array positions values are 0 all position values are zero consider a set of stream elements three elements c comma e comma z let us define the hash functions the first hash function h1 is defined as h1 of alphabet is equal to position of the alphabet mod 5 the second hash function h2 of alphabet is equal to position of the alphabet mod 3 h3 of alphabet is equal to 7 plus position of alphabet mod 8 let us take the first element c in s h1 of c is equal to position of c is 3 so 3 mod 5 is 3 h1 of c is 3 so third position in that bit array bit value 0 is changed to 1 now h2 the second hash function of c is equal to position of the alphabet mod 3 c position is 3 so 3 mod 3 is 0 so zeroth position value is changed to 1 similarly third hash function of c 7 plus position of c mod 8 7 plus 3 10 10 mod 8 is 2 so the second position value is changed to 1 this is happening for first stream element c the other two stream elements are e and z for e h1 is 5 mod 5 that is 0 already the position is changed to 1 h2 of e is 5 mod 3 so the value is 2 the position of 2 is changed the value of position 2 is changed to 1 h3 of e that is 12 12 mod 5 is 4 so the position of value of 4 is changed to 1 similarly for e z e z position is 26 26 mod 5 is 1 so the position value 1 is 1 now 26 mod 3 is 2 it is already 1 and then h3 of z which is 7 plus 26 which is 33 33 mod 5 is 3 the position of 3 is 1 the value of the position 3 is 1 now 
So now we this is our bloom filter storing. Next let us see bloom filter query. We have to check whether a key that arrives in the stream is in the storage or not. So to test a key A that arrives in the stream, find the values of H1 of A, H2 of A, etc., HK of A. Find the values. Look for that positions in the bit array. If all the positions corresponding to H1 of A, H2 of A, etc., HK of A are 1, all the positions are 1, then allow the stream element through. Suppose one or more of these bits are zero, then that key could not be in S, could not be stored in S. So reject that stream element. Consider an element G. We are going to check for the element G, whose position is 7 in the alphabet. H1 of G, that is 7 mod 5, the value is equal to 2. Look at the position 2, the value is 1. H2 of G, that is 7 mod 3, 4. Fourth position is having the value 0. H3 of G, that is 6. Look at the position 6, the value is 0. So, fourth position and sixth position values, that is 2 hash function values are 0. So, we can conclude that G is not in S. So, this is the way bloom filter querying works. This is the representation for black diagram for bloom filter querying and storing. We have stored already. Now how the filter works. When a key element comes through the stream, filter checks whether key value is in the storage or not using the hash function. And it will find out key value using the cache functions, it is not in the storage, so it will reply no. Suppose a key value comes and filter checks the hash functions and it gives the opinion that it is in the storage, then it will go to the storage and retrieve the element. Suppo sometimes, actually it is not in the storage, but the filters gives a false positive opinion, so it leads to an unnecessary disk access. Let us see it in the blue filter analysis. If a key value is in yes, then the element surely pass through the bloom filter. If the key value is not in yes and if it is not passing through the bloom filter, then it is good. Suppose if the key value is not in yes, but it pass through the filter, then it is known to be false positive. What is the probability of such false positive? It is a function of number of bit positions, that is bit array length and the number of members of S and the number of hash functions. Let us understand this false positive using X targets and Y dots. Suppose we have X targets and Y dots. A dot is equally likely to hit any target. The probability that a given dot will not hit a given target is x minus 1 divided by x. The probability that y dots will not hit a given target is x minus 1 divided by x the whole power y. That is x minus 1 divided by x into x minus 1 divided by x. It goes for y times. So it is denoted by x minus 1 divided by x the whole power y. It can be rewritten in the form 1 minus 1 by x power x whole power raised to y by x. And using the expansion for e power minus 1, the probability that none of the y dots will hit a given target is e power minus y by x. So this is the analysis of bloom filter using x target and y dots. Consider an example of emails. Think each bit as a target, each member as a dot. There are 1 billion members in yes. 
that is y is equal to 10 power 9 dots. How many bits? So 8 billion bits. So x is equal to 8 into 10 power 9 target. Probability that the corresponding target will be hit by 1 or more dots. That is the probability of given bit is 1. So probability of a given target is not hit by a dot is equal to as we have found earlier e power minus y by x that is e power minus 1 by 8 which is equal to point which is equal to e power minus 1 by 8. Probability a given target is a hit by a dot is equal to 1 minus probability of target is not hit. 1 minus e power minus 1 by 8 which is equal to 0.1175. To avoid too many false positive we have to choose k that is the number of hash functions to be n by m or less. So the probability of false positive in this case is 1 minus e power minus km by n the whole power k.